yeah, tell us something. Was it interesting or funny about ourselves? Um, I don't know if I would call that a, a fun fact about myself, but at the moment it's a fact about me that I am missing a tooth in the front. And so now I am obviously beginning to fear that I am facing uh, dentures, in which case, um, believe it or not, I'd obviously, I'd obviously make videos of it for YouTube. Hi, I'm Evelina and I'm a 50 plus Swedish grandmother living in London. I'm disabled and I have a non-functioning immune system, so my life isn't all that eventful these days. Uh, in fact, I spend an awful lot of time lying in my bed, um, just pacing, as we call it, in spoony circles. Um, I do, however, have a fully functioning brain that tends to go trying to find new creative outlets, and it does cry out for attention a lot, saying, feed me, give me something to do, this is awfully boring. Actually, I don't know if that is the voice of my brain, but it sounded right just then, so I went with it. Last year, my doctor told me I needed to make peace with death, but I've come to realize that I'm not quite ready for that yet. I've got far too much I want to say and do, and I figured maybe a YouTube channel would be a good platform for me to do just that. Only one problem. I don't know how to YouTube. I've spent about 50 years avoiding being in front of cameras because of bullies and stupid norms telling us we're not good enough. Um, until my doctor said what he did, which kind of turned my life upside down and forced me to rethink what I thought I knew. Now I have plans to launch an accessible travel channel about what it's like to travel with disabilities. Um, I'm thinking something along the lines of Bill Bryson meets two fat ladies. Um, obviously with a mix of, of uh, wheelchairs, mobility aids and the typical spoony mishaps thrown in the mix as well. Um, so practical, informative but also funny. Unfortunately you can't really start a travel channel on YouTube unless you know how to YouTube. Well I guess you could but I figure it wouldn't be a very good channel which would kind of defeat the purpose because Although I don't necessarily believe I could become, you know, a super professional, I think that maybe I could at least learn to be good enough to produce decent programs that someone would like to watch. So essentially, I need to hack this thingamajig before I can move on. And uh, where some people start with the channel that they wanted to have, I decided to do it the other way around. And I started a channel with my own name which is mainly about me, my life, and me learning how to YouTube. And, maybe most importantly, um, me learning how to be okay speaking to a camera. Uh, feeling like I can look into this camera and feel like myself. Like, I am actually allowing myself to be me talking to you through a camera. So the 1st of July this year I uh, made my first video uh, recording on myself uh, using a hand-me-down iPhone 5 I think it's called and basically the first recordings I felt so sick that it was unreal. I I had problems breathing, I had problems looking into the camera, I felt like I couldn't think of a word, uh, let alone how to pronounce it properly, and um, most of all I felt utterly and completely stupid. But my goal with this channel was to learn and how do you make the film, how do you get it up there, what are the problems, how do you get the sound right, how do you get the pictures right, how do you get the lights right, how do you relax in front of the camera, how do you, how do you, how do you, you see where this is going. There were so many questions um, and so few answers in the beginning. But there was this drive to learn. Everything said and done, I decided that July would be my month of just getting the hang of it and 
pretty much every single day in July I did film myself. Um, as I said before, I spent an awful lot of time in my bed. First I just had my iPhone, but it only took me a couple of days to realize that my webcam might serve me better. So uh, I got my webcam set up by my bed um, and sorted so that whenever I had a thought about something I wanted to talk about or whenever I did something that I felt might be interesting, um, I would start the camera um, and then I am slowly editing the material and uploading it so although I made probably 30 rounds of clips uh, so far I think I've only uploaded 16 or 17 videos on YouTube but my plan was that you know I'll try to get maybe three of them per week up because it's not that the material is dairy milk it doesn't need to come out today it can come out whenever really However, in, in, in doing all of this, I, I started to YouTube how to do YouTube and I came across a lot of really informative channels with people who were amazingly making me believe that, you know what, I could maybe actually pull this off, maybe I could learn how to do this. And um, first and foremost, I would say, among those people that I came across was um, the video influencers and uh, Amy. This is shameful. I, I, I did try to remember the name, but Amy Schmidtenauer. Schmidt Schmidtenauer. Poor girl. She must be getting this so much with people being ignorant about how to pronounce her name. I feel bad. Amy. Her name is Amy. Savvy, sexy, social Amy. S S S. Amy. Also, how to vlog like a boss, Amy, because what I found out from Amy was that she had written a book called How to Log. Vlog. How to vlog like a boss. Um, and I was over the moon when I saw that this book had been released as an audiobook. So I think the very same day that she announced it on Twitter that it was now available as an audiobook, I went and bagged mine for my monthly credit with uh, Audible on Amazon. Uh, and I started to listen to that, and I had seen about this um, a vlog, no, a vlog a day challenge. So I decided, right, I don't think if I were to only make videos that were about planning a content, talking about something, editing it, putting it together in some kind of, you know, decent presentation and uploading it, I think I would struggle because if everything has to be too much planned, maybe I would end up with an enormous list of things that I am working on but very little that will be ready to publish. So the idea behind the, the vlog a day uh, really suited me and um, I thought this is great. Uh, I could go through these topics, I could have something set, pull it out, read the question, answer the question straight off the bat and then try to upload the video in as uncut a uh, version as possible. Um, obviously don't want to leave in two minutes of silence or, or, or my own complete going bonkers with frustration over how bad I am moments because I have like, a lot of those but um, cutting it down to question, answer, quick edit, upload. I would really like to get the hang of that and I thought great so I've got all the SSS Vader questions because you can also find questions from previous years yay very helpful so if I can do 30 of these in August and get them up keep editing the stuff I did back in July get that up I would have two months full of material about 60 videos surely by then I would know whether making videos is for me or whether I totally suck and should just pack it in and forget about it day one um, I really really chuffed to be in this group as I said for me July was about 
beginning to understand how to make a video, edit it, upload it onto YouTube. Um, August for me is going to be about this particular challenge, which hopefully um, will teach me how to film, edit, upload quickly. So don't worry too much about uh, the edit process. Maybe that's offensive to, to the professional vloggers out there. I don't know. Maybe maybe you guys spend loads of time editing your material. But I just don't see how you could put too much time into the editing process if it's going to go out the very same day. Generally speaking, I think for me the format will be I'll do my pillow talk session in the evening before I fall asleep. And then I'll edit in the morning. I'll edit the video and upload it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try if I can keep this going for 30 days because I have absolutely no control over my body or my illness. I really don't know what my days are going to be like, but um, I want to do it, so I will do whatever I can to do it. And uh, I am well chuffed to think that at the end of this challenge, uh, I might have about 60 videos on this channel I might uh, well I will have watched uh, an awful lot of uh, different types of vlogs which surely should give me insights and ideas into you know how it can be done what you can what you can make out of this etc so I am super grateful I am so glad I stumbled across Amy uh, I am super glad that I, I got her book um, saw this and actually not only saw it but decided to do it right away because I have always been very good at thinking I'm going to do it later and then I forget. So I did it right away, I signed up when I saw it, um, I downloaded the topics into my calendar right away so that I get a prompt uh, from my phone to say hello you're supposed to do this topic today. Um, yeah, that's about it. I think this. Um, I think this first vlog has gotten a lot longer than I intended for it to be. But um, now it's time for me to go to bed and try to get some sleep so I can cut this and, and upload it tomorrow. But before I go, um, first of all and uh, most importantly, as always. Thank you very much for being here. Have a nice day.